In this video, we're going to use a binomial expansion to uh, approximate a calculation. So write down the binomial expansion of 1 minus x to the power of 5. Using x is equal to 0 0.01 and the first three terms of the expansion, find the approximation for 0 0.99 to the power of 5. Use your calculator to find the percentage error in the approximation. So we've got a plus b to the 5 is a to the 5 plus 5c1 a to the 4b plus 5c2 a cubed b squared 5c3 a squared b cubed plus 5c4 a b to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 5. So 1 minus x to the power of 5 means that a is 1 and b is minus x. So we've got 1 to the 5 plus 5, 5c4 5 1 is 5, 5 1 to the 4 minus x plus 10, 5c2 is 10, 1 cubed times minus x squared. Make sure we put the minus x into brackets. Plus 10, 5c3 uh, is 10. 10 times 1 squared times minus what x cubed. Plus 5 times 1 times minus x to the power of 4 plus minus x to the power of 5. So that's going to give you 1. 5 times 1 is 1, but minus x. Be careful with... So it's 5 times 1 times minus x, which is going to be 5 minus 5x, plus... Because when you square that minus sign, it will be positive, plus 10x squared minus 10x cubed. When you cube a negative number, it's, it's negative. This is positive, so it's going to be 5x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 5. So that's the expansion of 1 minus x to the power of 5. So note that if you did 1 minus 0 0.01 to the power of 5, that is the same as doing 0 0.99 to the power of 5. So if we use the first three terms of this expansion here, with x equal to 0 0.01, we get 1 minus 0 0.01 to the power of 5 is 1 minus 5 times 0 0.01 plus 10 times 0 0.01 squared. So it's going to give me 1 minus 0 0.05 and then 10 times 0 0.01 squared is 0 0.001. The idea to do this is to do it without a calculator. So we've got 1 minus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.001, and that comes to 0 0.951. So we're using that as an approximation for 0 0.99 to the power of 5. Now, the calculator value of 0 0.99 to the 5 is 0 0.950990499. So the percentage error is the error divided by the true value times 100. So our percentage error will be, the error will be 0 0.951 minus this number. Okay, you're only interested in the positive difference of these two numbers. Divided by the actual value, so the actual value is that on the calculator times 100. And then that comes to 0 0.001462 which is 0.00105% to three significant figures. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to do an approximation using the binomial theorem. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.